DTVG fam, what's going on y'all? It's been so long since I posted a video for you guys. It's not that I haven't wanted to, I've been trying, but it's been dark, it's been cold, and it's been raining, guys. There have been days where I've been outside, it's raining hard, and it's like 35 degrees, and it's super windy, and it's just difficult, guys. And you know, it's okay if I caught some fish, but I'm not even catching much fish, man. I'm in a, a big drought right now. However, that's not the point. The point is this. In this video, as I'm editing, I've realized that I need to explain what's about to happen, all right? So, in this video, I went to go grab some trout from my buddy Angel. You guys have seen him in the videos. Uh, not formally, but you guys have seen him holding the eel, etc. in the last couple videos that I've had. I'll post that above if you haven't seen it already. And he's never had a trout before, so I wanted to give him a taste of trout by doing a catch and cook for him. However, I went to the same spot that I did for my girlfriend's trout. I did the same methods literally uh, two days after I went the first time no fish and that's where the drop began you know so anyway while I was there I did manage to catch some film of some weird stuff man and like I told you guys I always run into the weirder stuff in Philly so watch what happens next seen that earlier man but I was so uh, I guess taken aback or just surprised because when I turned around man there was just like a gang of people around me and that's not what scared me but what scared me was how quiet they were like literally when I turned around I don't know if my GoPro video was running or not but there was like six or seven people just sitting or standing right here and I told him I was like man you scared me because I turned around it's dark and then the next thing you know I turn around there's like six seven people standing right there literally in like Assassin's Creed poses you know and the guy was telling me that what they're doing is they're praying. So they come here on Saturdays and they pray. So I got to respect that, guys. I, I have nothing against that. You know what I mean? Just thought that was a funny little clip I wanted to share, which uh, kind of threw me off a little bit. But they were nice people. I love meeting nice people like that, man. But it's just funny, the, the kind of things, the crazy things I run into here in Philadelphia. Not too long ago, man, I ran into a nudist while I was fishing from a, a, a kind of like a creepy spot. You know what I mean? So it, it really threw me off. Yeah, man. I always got to be like on guard and prepared around here. As long as the people are nice, you know what I mean? I'm on my business. I do my thing. I let them do their thing. All right, guys. So we went for trout this morning. Tried to get Angel and his brother Anthony some trout. Unsuccessful. However, the day did not end there. We did a couple errands, had a couple meals, and now we are doing something we've never done before. We are saltwater fishing on a jetty. Look at this beautiful jetty, man. This beautiful jetty is, you know, it's something to be respected because these waves are, go over the waters, they wet the rocks, and it becomes very dangerous and slippery on these rocks. So, although we are new to fishing out here, we are, you know, respecting Mother Nature, respecting the waves, and respecting the rocks. So, after going to the bait shop and seeing my man Trey at Brinkman's Bait Shop right there on State Road, he hooked us up, gave us a bunch of stuff that we could use today to try to catch Tog. We're going to be targeting Tog, but really, I just want to catch some fish, man. I want to get my rod out there with our green crabs, and we're going to see if we can't catch some. Alright, y'all. So, this is what Trey hooked us up with, some green crabs. Shout out to uh, my boy, Paul, for hooking us up and telling us that we needed green crabs. Trey as well for giving us and providing us with the crabs. Always hooking us up at Brinkman's Bake Shop, man. Make sure you stop by there if you're around in the Northeast Philly area. All right, this is what we're gonna be using, guys. These green crabs. Right here, look at that. I've never seen green crabs prior to today, honestly. Look at this guy, he's big. You got his first saltwater fish, yo. First saltwater fish? First saltwater fish. Hey. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Well, he got teeth. He got little teeth. Yeah, he does. Here, I'm just going to quickly tell you guys what I did. All right. So what I did was I cut off the pinchers as well as the two claws. And you have the option of cutting it either in half or using quarters, man. I would prefer to do it again if I were using quarters because the smaller chunks were getting the bigger fish for some odd reason, man. What the size limit on that is, but bro. Yeah, you definitely, yo, that's four fish. Quick, Angel. 
Oh, is it? Yeah. Let me see the teeth. There's a the teeth in there. He just oh, yeah. Him. That's, That's true. That's what he came for. Hey. Hey. I'm right. excited for you, yo. There we go. Another one, but they all get foul hooked like this, man. They're not like hooked in the mouth at all. And I'm not even sure what this is. Look at this. The way they're hooked are horrible. As long as I can get it out, I can get them back. Whoa! All right, we're gonna get them back, guys. Oh, another one hooked. Come on, guys. Why do they keep getting hooked like this? Does anybody know why we're hooking them like this? These are tog sliders, but they keep. They're all getting. Oh, they're all getting yanked up like this. Y'all see Larry the crab? Larry the, the lobster's cousin out here, man. Trying to get me. Look how strong he is. Look at that guy. Huge. <laughs> oh my god look at how they're hooked man what's the problem That's funny as dead. look at they're, they're good as dead man <laughs> jeez louise they look like the yodiac sign huh they look like the yodiac sign <laughs> all right brother let me try to get you out here There we go. That's a decent sized one for today. On a claw too. It's gonna be the best one. The best one on the last little claw I have left. First one. Oh, first one that's got uh, that I got through the lip too. So up until this point, we were catching tiny, tiny tog, and I mean like five, ten of them literally this this big right not more than four inches man I, I had some baits that were almost as long as the fish that we were catching and we were hooking them in the weirdest way so i don't know if i was snagging them because i had a slider rig on there plus those two hooks on the bottom so it kind of worked like a snag even though that wasn't my intention um but eventually we started to catch some bigger fish they were getting bigger bigger and bigger uh, this is our first tog, my first big tog. We've been catching tog all day, but they've been like tiny. Angel's been killing it. This one's too small to keep though, so we're gonna put them back. Angel's got something good on, y'all. And let's see. There it goes. Let's go. Foul well, hook. That's why it felt heavier. But that's a big size, bro. That. That's a good, decent size, Angel. Decent size. That's not bad at all. But it's not 15. No. Say what, like nine? Yeah. Nine. nine Barely in there. Yeah. Pulled it out. I feel like he's about a pound, maybe a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice size, man. Definitely like. Good job, bro. He's definitely like. I think I got a good one, man. Let's go. Let's go. 
right in the forehead. Oh my god, I gave him a <laughs> Oh man. Oh guys. Oh, 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 oh. Better when I have a little Woo! Look at this guy. I don't think it's as big as Angel's, it's man. That's big. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, we doubled up. That was nice. Look at the colors. This is the that's daddy. This is son. Look at this beautiful, man. I wonder if this is like females or no, because oh, here is out. bright too. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Once again, a big shout out to my buddy Paul, as well as Trey from Brinkman's Bait Shop, man. Always hooking me up, always giving me the knowledge, and always answering questions when I ask him. And you know what? Shout out to Angel, man. Always being down to come with me to fish. And I'm gonna catch him a trout one of these days, man. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna catch and cook it in the name of Angel and our friendship. All right, guys? If you haven't already done so and you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Put a comment down below if you have any recommendations on videos. Last but not least, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the notification bell if you want to see all my video uploads. I'll be uploading more, trust me. And last but not least, always dare to be great. Peace.